There was a lot of, a uh, lot of heavy combat. Here, we discuss the moments that will surely leave you concerned over the brutality of police interactions with the Marines. Check out how US Marines were abused by deputies as their corrupt practices were caught on camera. Number one, a Marine and military veteran suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, often called PTSD, had a really bad encounter with police officers during a traffic stop that was caught on camera. The military veteran's achievements were put aside as the cops carried tasers and guns. Unfortunately, their interaction ended the war veteran, the Marine's trip to the hospital and the jail. So uh, let's understand what triggered that day. Kirk Shahan, a Marine and war veteran, had overcome several struggles on the battlefield while working for his country abroad. However, when he came back home, he was sadly tased in a violent traffic stop in the Detroit suburbs. Shahan had seen plenty of death on the battlefield. But what happens when a real American hero who has medals to prove his love for his country goes through a bad night on the Van Buren Township streets? Tase him. Yeah, you Wait. I carried it in my flag jacket in case something ever happened. That way I'd be bare with the U.S. flag. With his flag tucked by his heart, this Marine saw plenty of death on the battlefield. Saw things people shouldn't see. Yeah, you're right. I've done things that some people, if I would have done that stuff in the stateside, I'd be in prison for. And then now they throw a uh, battle on your chest. He carried his friend's dead bodies back to safe zones so they could have proper burial. Recalling the incident, he mentioned how he carried one American flag for survival while touring Okinawa, Iraq, and Kuwait. His love for the nation was proved when he mentioned the flag's importance. I carried it in my flag jacket in case something ever happened. That way, I would be buried with the US flag, he added. Shahan had also seen things that people shouldn't witness. He's done things that people cannot even imagine doing. However, in this case, Shahan had a military license plate that read veteran. In the video, you can notice how Shahan was wearing a vest with military markings. Drop your keys, man. Come on, shoot me. Get your hands up now. Ah, you Roll over on your stomach. Get back on the ground. There were signs for the deputies to determine that this might be a flashback from PTSD. But police officers don't go through PTSD training, and that's why they didn't realize how a violent, dangerous arrest can actually harm others. On the dashcam video, Shahan can be heard conveying police officers to shoot him before they use the taser on him. Come on, shoot me, he said. He falls on the ground, but he gets up to tell again to shoot him. He's shocked by a taser and then taken to the grounds by many officers. Wow. My throat's way up here. I can't breathe. I, I just, uh, I start panicking. I have a panic attack. When it happens, his wife, Melissa, calmly reminds him that he is home and safe. We just try to be there for him for when he does have a flashback to try to help him come back to life, you know? Hey, you're safe. You're home. An officer should approach a veteran with PTSD or a veteran because they may be suffering from it with a calm demeanor in order to establish some sort of bond or trust with those individuals because this is the result, said David Helm, Shahan's attorney. During a traffic stop, no police officer wants to kill a war veteran. Police officers in Michigan are not required to do PTSD training. However, if police officials find such PTSD cases, then they should be aware of how to deal with them. Such cases should be dealt with care and informed that they are safe and not in huge danger. Number two, check out this video in which cops are trying their best to escalate a situation to affect a seizure and then make up the case later. I saw him put his hands in here. He was, he was putting the gun in. Probably. Well, rip. Yeah, just, here's his ID. So you can tell one out of Florida my number and then the uh, and you need to see your number. Probably 44 Central. I got one out of Florida by number, and I also have a serial number on a firearm whenever you're ready. Charlie, 44 Central. I have a uh, one out of Florida by number, and I also have a serial number on a firearm whenever you're ready. The cops' fraudulent practices are caught on camera as they're searching the car unlawfully of a U.S. Marine. Looks like these officers don't really care at all about the crimes that they're committing by threatening Marines. Number three, 
Know what happens when police officers try to arrest a marine officer and US soldier at a high-risk traffic stop? Yep, Karen Nazario, an army lieutenant who was held at gunpoint and pepper sprayed by Virginia police during a 2020 traffic stop. The reason given by the police was no license plate displayed by Nazario's vehicle and taking a long time to stop, along with extremely dark window tints. However, Nazario didn't stay calm and decided to sue the two police officers. I don't have to identify myself to you, do I? Am I under investigation? You want to no. tell me what's going on? What is it? Can you the address? Nazario, who is black and Latino, was behind the wheel of his newly purchased car, Chevy Teo. The lawsuit mentioned how he was pulled over by police in Windsor, Virginia in December 2020. And guess what? He sued the two officers of the Windsor Police Department in April 2021. The officers were accused of assault and racial profiling, and Nazario went on to win the case and was awarded $3,685 in damages in January 2023. I'm my rights right now. Actually, we're not, dude. Yes, you are, because no, you're not, not telling me you know who okay, that is okay. that I said it to you. Listen, dude, we're not violating your rights. You are. How? Because which, you, which, which right? You, which, you, which civil right are we violating? Isn't it good that officers who conducted an illegal search were punished? This is what should ideally happen to anyone who abused their power. No doubt that a few bad police officers make it challenging for Marines and common people who genuinely do their jobs and lead honest lives. It is certainly expected from the US cops to perform in their jobs well and work as upstanding role models in their profession. However, police brutality has been on the rise in recent times. US police officers always make news every now and then for their illegal use of force and excessive and unwarranted behavior against civilians and Marine officers. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The door slowly step out. Different forms of brutality and violence have ranged from murder, torture, and mayhem. Harassment and false arrest, verbal abuse, corruption, mistreatment, and intimidation are some of the common methods of police brutality. As the misconduct records of US law enforcement officers are rising, many citizens are feeling victimized by law enforcement's abuse of power. Civilians and Marines are unquestionably feeling as if they have no recourse against the police officers who injured them and abused them. Telling him that he had just talked to the police chief and that he wouldn't charge Nazario if he didn't pursue them. I don't mean disrespectfully, okay? I mean, you have that right as a citizen. If that's what you want, we'll charge you, have you go to court, notify the command, do all that, or we can take, the, take time out of our night, which is not a problem. We're, on the, we're being paid to take care of people, okay? However, Nazario didn't let it go, not after the way he was treated. He immediately filed a lawsuit against both officers, claiming more than $1 million in damage. Is it the new normal trend to live under abuse of authority, or will there be a new hope for the public to feel safe and protected by law enforcement? Those who are the victim of abuse of authority can carefully document the incident, such as time, place, officers involved, witnesses, and any other facts they can remember. They can always approach lawyers and attorneys to help them deal with the corrupt practices of the cops. Thank you for watching our complication video. If you like watching our video, then click on like and subscribe to our channel.